Hi, it's David at Arthur David Smith. So for this video I'm going to do the Black Knight from Fortnite. Uh, following the Raven video which seems to have done very well. Uh, Sergeant Winter less so, but he was one of my favourite characters. So. Uh, so we're going to do the Black Knight anyway. So what I've got is a 6cm circle which is sat 2cm above this very shallow triangle which I've drawn 16 centimeters wide and just nearly five centimeters in height so that's going to be my basic structure of this so this is going to be the shoulder area and obviously the helmet for the Black Knight is going to sit into this area these are where the folded arms are essentially going to be so these are the center bones through the arms uh, for the pose which the the knight is stood in. So I'm just going to start putting some extra guidelines in here. So it's obviously got this central part to the helmet. Now by using these guides and I've taken these the edges of the circle down onto the shoulders as well what this is going to do is help with the placement of all the key features so obviously as a knight he's got the large helmet there just going to put some rough detailing into here Well, I've looked through on the internet and allegedly the Dark Knight is one of, if not the most popular character. Uh, so that's why I've decided to go with him today. Well, this is before I'm actually doing a local art challenge with one of the schools in the area uh, during this uh, period where everybody's got to be at home so trying to keep the kids, the parents busy uh, active stopping them being bored at home uh, I've set up a little art challenge where they throw in suggestions for what they would like me to draw and then during the course of the week they actually draw their own versions of what we're going to cover in the video so this week the popular choice was unicorns so that is what I'm going to be drawing at the weekend so if I use my set square here I'm just going to take a line through the centre of this so I get the visor correct so the visor is going to sit somewhere around this area yeah so the art challenge is it's just something an additional extra I suppose on the channel uh, just really trying to engage with the kids out there obviously I'm aware of it having my own kids at home at the moment uh, they are getting a little bit bored at times, so it's just trying to come up with some ideas uh, to keep everybody amused, keep everybody's spirits up. So, we'll move into the shoulder area here. So, using that triangle, this is going to give us the slopes of the shoulder blades. We'll come down to the edges of the triangle. into the ball of the shoulder and what we'll do is at some point when it's convenient and we don't need these guidelines anymore we'll start knocking them back with the eraser so they're no longer in our way and what I'll do is as I clean the image up I'll get rid of all those elements now one thing you have to bear in mind when drawing this, I'll just show you here, 
is from the bottom of the triangle to practically the top of the helmet is pretty much the same as when you come down to where the middle of the Black Knight's belt will end up being. So try not to uh, what I'm trying to say is make sure this distance here is as long as this because otherwise it's going to look out of proportion and that's why when I'm doing a lot of the drawings I put in so many guides because at this stage where everything's nice and light it can be easily altered and the dimensions changed if you've already committed heavy lines and things like that and then you start to notice that the top sections too squashed down it's too late then to uh, really make those kind of alterations so so what we do it's got this kind of a neckerchief thing around the neck so we're going to put that the starting of that in there So hopefully you're all staying safe at home. Uh, I notice there's quite a few of you actually watching the videos. There's been quite a few people subscribe this week as well. So thank you very much for that. Uh, if there are any other Fortnite characters that you would like me to cover, please feel free to uh, Leave your suggestions in the comments section. So, got this other hand poking through here behind the other arm. And what I'll do with a lot of the detail, like the chain mail and things like that, obviously, I can, once I've got this. roughed in what I'm putting the, the drawing and everything else once I've got all these guidelines in I'll take a bit of time off camera put the chain mail and things like that in there it's it tends to be a little monotonous so you don't need to see me really doing that on camera unless you've got a particular uh, fondness to watch me do it in a subsequent video but just throwing these guides in here so we've got this kind of neck chief thing going on we're then going to drop down to the other guideline what I've got here and this is roughly to where his belt would be so his waistline now one of the things I have been preparing uh, which is a lesson which is going to be coming soon will be figure drawing so a lot of the elements what you see in here you're going to see in the figure drawing videos as well uh, what I'm trying to condense down and normally I would do this in a classroom with a class of students is to uh, run through how to do the figure drawing it's, it's easier to show people in question uh, in, in sorry in the flesh because uh, you're able to move around the class and see how everybody's going so it's not trying to make that into bite-sized pieces because it is a lot of information to take on but when you start doing characters like this all those little things that I'll teach you during that video or may end up being a series of videos will help you uh, when you start forming figures when you're drawing real life figures and things like that so that's what I've been kind of working on in the background so 
So Black Knight has got his I suppose like a utility belt. He's got pouches for keeping, I guess, spare ammo and things like that. So to put those onto there. side and again I'm firing these in quite quickly now and all this lot can be sharpened up quite easily during the rest of this video and obviously off camera as well. So if you can hear any sounds behind me that's my cause my son has decided to sit in here and watch me making a fool of myself on this video. So it's got this double belt going on. So again we're gonna quickly Flesh in the belt buckles, straps and things like that. It's got quite a distinctive belt as well. So I'm going to put that in. So again, when you're drawing anything like this, and whether it's you sat down the part when all this nonsense is over and done with. You're drawing figure drawings or anything like that. Getting anybody to pose for you. Proportion is everything. You've got to get them proportions correct. So make sure you make the arms long enough. That's a classic mistake for a start. And like in this video. The proportions of from the centre part where the I suppose the top of the chest where the shoulder blades would come to above the chest plate uh, this distance is the same as this distance if you don't get those correct your drawing is never going to look right so take time to get those elements correct It'll be worth it in the end. And I'll save you having to do a full redraw. But as I've said before, if you said got this top element correct, the bottom's not quite right, take a line drawing off of this on your light box or against the window and redraw in the bottom section what you're not happy with. That way you've not completely wasted a drawing you've just taken the best elements off of it and then embellished them with a second drawing also it's a good way that as well of uh, if you're wanting to try different elements say if this was a character you were drawing for a job or something like that gives you a different way if you're happy with the top section trying different sections on the bottom different features things like that without having to draw an entire new picture every single time just firing in these last few details now on the helmet And again, you can embellish these as much as you want. Okay. So, some detailing there onto the gloves. But as you can see, with those guides that we've put into there, 
simple shapes again then most of these characters that I am drawing at the moment when you look at them look for the shapes in the character so for this guy he's obviously got this very pronounced triangle with the shoulders and then the the circle of the helmet coming down uh, I suppose into the kind of the cylinder into the top of the triangle so by using those very simple elements it gives you the structure to the drawing before you've even really put any serious lines down there so it's a really good trick plus it also taking this forward you can use these very simple shapes to come up with new characters we did it with the scooby-doo where we had the bizarre shaped triangle which kind of was indicative of his of his head shape um, but often when I'm coming up with new characters I'll start with very simple circles and uh, ellipses and things like that to come up with new characters formulate new characters uh, so again play with that experiment with it these are all really good tips for coming up with your own characters. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is just start fleshing out some of the details. You can probably hear my cat meowing in the background because she wants to come in now. Obviously, uh, wants to be party to the video. And she's just going to have to wait a moment. Start thickening out some of these edge lines. So around the bottom of the helmet, it's quite a deep shadow into this area. So I think we've reached that point as well now where our triangle is now starting to get in the way. So we're going to knock. as much of that out as we can as well as the lines on the arms through the center but we will keep this one on the mask because of the uh, detailing on the helmet so again just have to drop some of these lines back in what I've accidentally knocked out with the eraser the ones which we're wanting to retain okay. so yeah, as I was saying it's quite a deep shadow in this area underneath the helmet these triangle things as well I believe it's to do with the shield how it sits on his back are out for the moment but then when I scan it in I'll just put the eyes back into this area and put the glow on there so 
So it's got these quite thick details on the gauntlets or gloves. And detailing around here, obviously underneath his arms, onto his breastplate, at the bottom of the gloves. You're going to want to put quite heavy shadow into those areas because the light's kind of coming down and slightly to the side on this character. So when we get into areas like this, slightly heavier shade onto this side, less so on this side, that will start to give it that three dimensional appearance. So obviously if you watch the Raven video again you'll see how I shaded Raven. No point in me going through the whole process again watch that video, use some of the te uh, techniques what I put on that video on this to shade it out. I will do the rest of this, sharpen this up off a of camera, uh, but I will catch you on the new video, which uh, is probably going to be the unicorn video. So uh, if you know anybody who'd be interested in that, please uh, message them. In the meantime, look after yourselves. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. Please leave a subscribe. Uh, it really does make a big difference if you do that for me. Uh, like the video and leave me any suggestions for subsequent videos after this. But thank you very much and I'll catch you again. Cheers. Bye bye.